What is up heroes, this is Minite Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we struggled quite a bit with a particular room, but I apparently wasn't alone in having struggled with that room. But we eventually succeeded, made our way through the various locked doors, and made our way up here. It's this beautiful area. Um, thank you so much for the support on the last episode, I really do appreciate it. It's been, it's been a very trying 24 hours in my life, but I think, I think now more than most times I could actually really, um, benefit from a game like Celeste and, and everything that this game uniquely offers. So, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, so let's continue. I'm, I'm totally loving this music. Oh, that's right, we got more of the, uh, the puffer fish or whatever. So, I know there was, there was actually a, a comment that came off a little bit aggressive, um, but in terms of how these puffer fish work, right? So apparently if you hit them from above, uh, you jump off of them, and if you hit them from the side, they uh, blow up, which is relatively close to what I had in mind. But I thought it was like a timer, and you can kind of see there's like a radial, a circular sort of almost like gauge it looks like around it. I was under the impression that was like related to some sort of countdown or proximity um, meter that would then, you know, determine when it blows up. And naturally, if you're falling from above, if you fall to the side of it, you're going to be closer to it for longer. And that's why I thought it was blowing up. But regardless, um, how am I going to... Although it appears even if you approach from the bottom, it'll do that too. Definitely gonna have to get creative here. Is there something I'm missing? Is there like a jellyfish I should have? Or is there... I probably need to straight from this do something like that exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go over and get those two keys. Wow, that's... That's going to be difficult, um, because of the puffer fish, obviously. So how do I go about doing this, right? Um, I'm going to have to go for the lower one first. So I'm going to jump over this, and then dash to the left, get my double dash. Presumably... How am I going to do that? Dash left and then dash right again? Those double crystals don't come back. We're gonna mess around with it for a moment. How quickly do they come back? Decently quickly, honestly. I like dashed into it, so I really propelled myself. I feel like the, the trick is to dash after you get blown up, right? Try there. Oh! <laughs> I'm silly. Um, so, interestingly enough, new mechanic, per se, um, I don't actually need to hit the key in order to activate it. The explosion itself appears to do so. So, that's what I need to do. And honestly, that'll be a lot more feasible. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm uh, just learning about this now. But all right, up we go. Those things are not enemies, that's good. Okay, um, we got a jellyfish up there, resting peacefully, and we've got some springs on the side. And okay, the room isn't like forever long. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna have to do first is dash upwards and grab the jellyfish naturally. Um, and then I'm gonna probably drift to the left, bounce on that spring, get my dash back, throw the jellyfish to the right, dash through that gap there, land on the spring, bounce up, grab the jellyfish, and then bounce off the spring on the right, over to the left. And then while I'm doing that, I'm probably gonna need to throw it, and the jellyfish will kind of follow the arc of that spike centered platform or those spikes in the center of the screen right now 
and then fall on those springs there. So in the meantime, what do I need to do is the question. Where do I go after that? I don't know. Do I throw the jellyfish and then... Hmm. And then try to like jump over and then dash up left while re-grabbing the jellyfish as it... as it bounces off of those spike protected springs and then bounce off that one on the left and then let go and dash straight up that might be it that might be it we'll we'll see oops what was that sound oh I see what that sound was. The block disappeared. So it's a one-time use kind of deal. Aw, oh, man. A little bit closer. Aw, oh, man. Didn't quite get up there with enough momentum. So I should try to jo throw the, the jellyfish while I'm up higher like that. I think that'll overall do better. Except then I... <laughs> I guess I don't have the timing down very well yet. For once Madeline lets go of the jellyfish, how quickly she falls again. Oh man, almost. Maybe I'll actually have more momentum if I wait a little bit longer. And I grab onto the jellyfish again at the more initial stages of the uh, bounce. Okay, so I definitely need to let go there so I can then grab and... Uh, well, well, we'll see how things go after that. Interesting. I mean, I definitely just misclicked there. That was nothing um, particularly interesting. But I need to, I need to <laughs> let go of the jellyfish and then immediately grab onto that wall, which seems to be proving difficult for for me for some reason. Okay. I think I know what I need to do now. I want it to bounce off of those platforms and then I wait for it to actually come back. Like that. No, no! I hit the wrong button. <laughs> All right, well, at least I feel like I've got a bit of a direction now, right? I know what I'm supposed to be doing. And like we discussed in the last episode, that makes the overall process significantly more enjoyable. And I don't think this will be, you know, so overwhelming an obstacle that'll take me the rest of the episode to do. I may be speaking too soon. <laughs> Maybe I got a little bit lucky early on, but... Okay. There we go. Alright. Now what? Okay, so we got a much longer room coming up. <clears throat> How do we want to plan this? So, clearly, um, when I go up off the spring, it's, it's showtime. <laughs> so I jump off the spring, I bounce up, and then I maybe land on the platform, wall jump off, dash, bounce on the spring, land on that, jump off, dash, into the spring, bounce over there. Is there really no jellyfish involved? Weird. Um, jump off, dash up, spring. Why did they give me another dash there? Oh, maybe? Maybe it's advantageous to, after this, 
left spring, dash up to that. Hmm. Either way, I'm uh, definitely going to need to get up there and then... Interesting. I need my dash, obviously. So I need to dash up through that crystal and grab the wall. Um, I can't use that second crystal to dash to the wall, otherwise I won't be able to get up there. And then I'll dash up there, and I uh, can hopefully make it. I am concerned though, why is... Oh, I know why. Because these platforms are going to fall as soon as I grab onto them. That's why that top spring is actually going to be relevant. Okay, this will be a little bit more... Well... Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's see here. Oh, I didn't think that would actually be high enough to get up there. Hmm. I'm definitely... Am I able to get over there without dashing? As in, preserve my dash for when I wall grab onto that second um, platform? No, I'm not, so... Ooh. I th so I am gonna have to um, play around with letting go or clinging and then jumping off and trying to land on the, uh, what's it called? Oh no! That was actually uh, not too shabby. Oh man, I think that was what I, I need to bounce off of that in order to pr progress the amount of distance I need. It's a little bit tougher because I can't see that top one uh, coming as readily. Oh no! Hmm. How do I want to do that? How do I want to do that? I think that's what I need to do. I need to very quickly get that and then dash upright to get the spring so that I have enough height so that once I bounce to the left after um, hitting that spring, I'll be able to get, well, I need to be far enough to the left that I get my dash back, right? And like I said, not use that second crystal. I have to, oh wait, no, this is gonna fall. So I, I can use that second crystal's dash to get up there jump off and then fall back on that top spring in order to get that dash there and then once I get that dash, dash upright. Okay, so that's a lot more feasible now I think. Oh no! Not quite. Not quite. Oh, and interesting, they don't even give you the option of falling. Darn, that was not quick enough. But I do think we are making progress, so that's always good. Ah, I started drifting to the right before I had even hit the spring. Almost, but not quite. Also, you guys weren't kidding when you said that this was a long chapter. In the last episode, you guys were like, oh, the level still is going to get uh, more difficult, so you got plenty to look forward to. Oh, no, I got... I was about to say, pineappled for those of you that play Super Smash Bros. Melee. <laughs>
That's a game I've been wanting to get back into for a while. I used to uh, play very competitively, and I still maintain a lot of that skill, I guess, and I enjoy when I get the chance, but going to tournaments has just been so much more difficult recently, for obvious reasons. Oh, come on! Oh, almost. But even before then, um, it's just really difficult to take, you know, four or five hours out of the weekend or whatever day it may be and just dedicate it completely to a game. Oh no! I should, um, I should try to fast fall there. And the other thing is um, just locally finding people to play with that you would be friends with outside of, you know, playing that particular game is also kind of difficult. And then there's also, you know, the whole deal with in terms of, like, similar skill levels or not. Okay, we did it! Anything over here? There is! My secret senses were tingling. Alright, so now we've got a long horizontal room. Interestingly enough, we're gonna have to use a jellyfish. So we're gonna dash up to that spring on the left, bounce off, grab the jellyfish, and then... We are probably going to have to do a, a drop and then bounce off the wall, dash up, re-grab to get that. And then do the same thing again there to get over. And then bounce off of that. And then... Where do we do our re-grab is what I'm wondering. I don't think that spring will bounce us high enough that we can do the re-grab up by the key itself, but the wall on the far right looks like that might be a little bit too far. Could always try again by rebouncing off the left and regaining our dash, but I think that's that's what we're looking at. Oh man, <laughs> I gained a lot of height there, a lot more than I expected. I goofed that one up. Okay. Carefully, and then over we go. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, the placement of that last one is definitely going to be the uh, the difficult part here. I still, I don't think it's really feasible to. Um, aim for going off of there. Yeah, I don't think so. I could try, though, I don't know if you guys saw that, bouncing off of the, the locked door itself. That might actually work. Darn. Part of it's the, uh... I mean, obviously not dashing into the spikes there, though, too. That's proving to be difficult. Hmm. I think that's what I'm going to want to do, actually. Is not <laughs> not what I just did. I, that obviously didn't work out very well. Um, but is try to re-grab the wall on the right and then dash up. Ah, uh, almost. Yeah. Hmm. What's the best way to go about that? Sorry, Madeline. <laughs> So this is clearly a, a skill they wanted me to learn earlier in the level before moving on. I feel like I've got to time that right. I feel like that's what I've got to do, is just I have to bounce it off of that little alcove in there, otherwise getting up there is going to be so much more difficult. Hmm. Maybe if I wait another moment longer. Or, like I said, time my release of the jellyfish correctly. But I feel like that would be maybe maybe a little bit too much to ask of the player. Oh! I did re-grab it! I had no momentum, but I did re-grab it. That's actually really funny. Okay.
I think that's the closest I'm gonna get, is if I dash all the way to the right, bounce it off of the locked door, and then try to drift up left with the jellyfish. I didn't time it correctly, so I didn't get the uh, the bounce I'm looking for, but that's that's okay. Darn. <laughs> I don't know how that almost worked, but it kind of almost did. I may try something, some other shenanigans that I got a little bit more familiar with during that one really difficult room from the previous episode. Okay. Alright, let's give it a go. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try and do, is try and turn around after the initial launch, and then um, dash up. Almost! <laughs> that was so close. How did that not count? I bet if I looked in slow-mo, my sprite overlapped. But I think that's going to be my more feasible strategy at the moment, just from obviously messing around for the past couple minutes with this screen. There we go. Alright, on to the next screen. So we have... Interesting. Um, so I'm clearly going to have to jump on top of that puffer fish so that it bounces down, off the spring, off the spring up there, and then I'm gonna have to dash to the left, blow myself up, and go to the right. I think... That's the idea. Yeah. Okay. Huh. But for some reason I'm having... Maybe... Can I jump with the explosion timing? No, I can't. At least to my knowledge. What if I'm a little bit earlier? That's right, I regain my... I regain my dash after I jump on it. That way I can place myself a little bit better. Oof! That was just barely! Alright, let's see here. So we got a nice horizontal room. Um, I'm gonna need to throw the jellyfish at that, and then probably dash up and over. Okay, and then do the same thing there. Why is that spring there? That concerns me. Oh, I know why. I know why. So I'm gonna throw the jellyfish at that, dash up, re-grab. I need to hit that spring in order to get my dash back. So I'm gonna need to... Hmm. How though? Wow, that's a decently long room. Um, ain't got nothing on the, the sea sides though. How am I gonna do that though? If I bounce off of that, I'm probably not going to have enough height, right? All I can think of is, so I, I dash over this, bounce off of, or maybe then throw it at that, and then fall to the spring, and then bounce off the spring to the left as the jellyfish is falling towards the left, and then dash up and try to go over again that way. And then, okay, so, another weird part here, um, is that going to fall once I grab onto it? Otherwise, how am I, how am I supposed to get through there? I feel like it's got to fall. 
we'll see, I guess. But, regardless, um, I'll fall down this little corridor here. I'll need to hit that bottom spring to get my dash back. I could, after I hit that spring, that will propel me to the right, up against that long um, platform in the middle. What I can do is let go of the jellyfish and then grab it, the um, and then grab the platform. That way the jellyfish might bounce off that top spring, or bounce off the wall, and then or that long platform, and then the spring on the left. And while that's going on, if I grab the long platform, it'll fall, and then as it's falling, I can jump to the left and hit that bottom spring again, which will put me in position to dash upwards to re-grab the jellyfish. Huh, but then I'm gonna have to hit that switch. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's see if we can even get there in the first place. Let's see. <laughs> that did not work super well, but that's also not what I had said was the uh, the way to do it. There we go. Now what happens if I... Okay, so th that definitely needs to go. <laughs> that, that long uh, pillar in the middle needs to go. Oh, what? I missed? Ah, oh, man, I gotta get a little bit closer. Or just maintain a little bit more momentum as I'm moving to the right. I think that's what I'll do, is try and maintain a little bit more momentum as I'm falling to the right. That <laughs> didn't exactly go as planned. Okay. Okay, so that will. However, it also confirms a couple other things, right? It confirms that that bottom spring is a one-time use thing. So, I'm pretty sure I need to hit, throw the jellyfish at the spring on the left, grab the long platform, and then jump off the long platform, and then bounce using that bottom spring. I'm glad we at least have that kind of uh, understood now. Ah. But I missed. <laughs> I missed the spring. In both ways. Oh, what? No! And that time I missed the jellyfish. You guys are lucky I haven't made a jellyfish and jellyfish and jellyfish in reference yet. That's one of my favorite SpongeBob episodes. And those of you that have been watching the channel for quite some time will know that I make plenty of, uh, Spongebob references when I can. Alright, let's maintain a little bit more momentum. Nice. And throw. Oh, that was okay, actually. Um, I, I thought I was going to miss. I was paying too much attention to that. But it is always a learning process. You know, learning one bit of the level and making sure you have that down before progressing to the next. So now that I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with aiming the uh, the jellyfish, I can focus a little bit more on what do I want to do to make sure I can actually get sprung to the right and re-catch the jellyfish, right? Because that's going to be the next challenge. Gotcha. So... I need to wait even longer, I think, because I need that jellyfish to bounce off of the spring into the switch, I believe. Because otherwise, I mean, I, I would have to re-perform, uh, what's it called, these like dash up things. Which I don't think I can do at that point because I'll be out of my dash, unless there's some other, you know, technique I gotta improvise with. 
No, I missed. So I'll just hold on as long as I can and see how far that gets me. And then we'll work from there. Okay, yeah. So that's definitely doable and um, definitely the intended route. So we will make that work. Aw, oh, man. Got a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> Throw, miss, lovely. <laughs> over, 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 over. Nice. Whew. That was a, that was a toughie. Um, now what? Do those, how do those move? Why do they move? We have a key to get down there. I see, so that'll move like that. Whatever we're standing on it. But why is it relevant? How do I get down there? What's going on down there? What? How am I supposed to... Oh. I see, that's right. I don't personally need to be down there. The pufferfish does. So what I need to do is jump on this, send it to the right, I believe. Or the spring is on the right side of the platform. I'm sure they want me to hit the puffer fish on top so that it then gets hit to the right and maybe bounces down there or something. So that's too low. Are you coming back? Oh, you are. How lovely. Is that really where I want it to go? I don't know. I was thinking I would want to, um, I guess like, do this and then jump over so it's like that and gets pushed down that way. I could jump on it again and then trigger an explosion. I think I'll want this platform over there though. Oh, I missed! Yeah, I think that's what I'll want to do is I'll want to hit that platform so it's over on the right and then jump or dash to the side of the puffer fish so that it blows up and the platform is over there for me to dash up to. Yeah, I like I like that idea. Okay. Down you go. All right, let's try this again. No, <laughs> why do I keep doing up left? Oh man. All right, there we go. You go down there. Now, here we go. Why, why does that keep happening? <laughs> I'm just hitting left. I was like very intentional about it that time. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got it to at least work that time. That was, I guess, my main goal. <sighs> okay. I have no idea why. <laughs> 
that keeps happening. So I need to dash up and grab the left side of the platform. Okay. And we're done with that screen, which gave me way more difficulty than it probably should have. So now, now what? So that will do that. The thing is, I need to... So I need to dash up, trigger it to blow up, come back down, dash up there, fast enough that it respawns while I'm on the right side of it, and then it'll blow me up that way. Alright. Yeah, that's definitely what I gotta do. So, do that we will. Okay, over here we go. That's gonna move that way. I'm probably gonna have to uh, move it like that. So let's let's try that again. Interesting. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay. And now, I wish I could preview what's happening. I'm gonna have to fall on the right side of that, presumably, and then dash up to cling onto that and, re and grab those, uh, what's it called? The double dash. So let's do that. Okay. No secrets down there or anything? Okay. Um, so now what? Ah, that counts as getting one of the keys, too, if the jellyfish gets it. Interesting. Okay. Seems very doable, though. Man, this... This level, specifically, but this game in general is really beautiful. So that spring propels me a lot <laughs> more strongly than I'd expected. Okay, and I have to let go or something beforehand because um, if I don't, even if I hold left immediately or, you know, the entirety of that time, um, it's just not enough. So the question is, how do I get that third key? How do I do it without dying? Which is pretty important. We're gonna pause for a moment. Whoa, that was weird. It like... Yeah. Um, didn't go to the pause menu right away. I thought it like froze or something. And I would have been very upset. Alright, so we're gonna let go. And then we can just dash there and then re-grab. Okay. I think I've got an idea now. So now, we execute. Or not. <laughs> we get too caught up in our heads and then don't do anything with our fingers. So, that's uh, not very helpful. Oh man! I messed up my dash. But, okay. That's the end of the room too, so it's not like there's a whole lot waiting for us after that. Regrab, and then... There we go. Okay, over here. What is going on here? So that is a spring. We're going to have to jump off of that, dash to the right, probably spring again. And then do some shenanigans where we hit the puffer fish into the spring to spring it up. And then fall to the right of it and blast to the right. That's the impression I'm getting just from looking at the level. Yeah, that's absolutely what we need to do. Oh, that did not uh, go as planned. That also did not go as planned. Hmm. So I need to time my fall on the uh, puffer fish. So I think... <laughs> so first of all, I need to time my fall 
onto the pufferfish by dashing above it at the right time so it falls on the spring. After I hit the pufferfish, I need to immediately jump up or dash up with my regain dash so that the pufferfish has space to go up after being hit by the spring. I will probably then jump on the pufferfish again. Um, so maybe I need to go to the right then when I do that dash, like dash up and fall to the right so that I don't immediately just hit its head again. I already messed it up. Okay. Uh, man, that was closer. Closer. So, progress. That's still progress. Definitely part of the difficulty is just getting the timing of all of this down. So it's that second one that I'm not prepared for. Oh man. See, that was a little bit too much. Close. I was thinking, rather than focus on, you know, timing and all that stuff, I could just try to focus on where I will be when the the fish or whatever gets, you know, blown back up. But I get the feeling this will definitely be one of the more difficult sections. I don't even know what comes to the right, right? <laughs> what comes after this? And this is just the, uh, the beginning. I think to some degree it'll be helpful to um, to delay a little bit, to stall so that I can let this platform progress a bit. So that it's where I need it to be when it is. How much height do I get off of this? I get a decent amount of height. Um, but I don't think it's enough still to even should I, you know. Aw oh, man. Let's see. I guess out of curiosity. No, I'm not going to be able to get over that gap with just one dash anyway, so. Aw oh, man. So that's what I meant by might be helpful to uh, delay a little bit. Okay, I need to pause and think for a moment. So the end of the room is on the right there. And so I'm gonna fall and hit on the spring. After doing so, I think it's actually already too late, but I jump off of the spring, dash up and upright, and then fall on the spring again, and, uh, and lose, <laughs> pretty much. Um, hmm, how do I even do this? last part, right? I fall off the spring, I dash up and right and over. In order to regain my, my dash, I... I need to cling to the right of the block. So I think I need to dash into those double crystals, use one dash to get over cling to the right of the platform that's moving and then spring up slash dash to that little bit of wall there to get to the end. So I think I've actually already screwed this up. Yeah. But again, progress is um, still progress. My battery is running low. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even realize my computer wasn't plugged in. Sorry about that, and hopefully... Hopefully that has not had an impact on how the gameplay has been recording and all that. 
I'm optimistic. <laughs> it's a little too late to undo things. Um, but... We'll do what we can. Almost. Gotta delay a little bit more. Nope, that's definitely not how it's supposed to work. Oh my. I might not even need that platform. If I get that good of a launch... I, uh, yeah, I might not even need it. I can probably just dash over... I was gonna say, and I can dash over there as well. Interesting. Very interesting. Darn. Okay. There, I did not have a very strong um, blast. There again. Hmm. This is proving to be very interesting. <clears throat> and it seems also very, very dependent on the spacing of this, this kaboom. How high up, how close I am to the puffer fish as it kabooms and all that stuff. Part of it's like, okay, I can try to get the, the strong boost um, and propel myself way forward, but I feel like I need to buy a little bit more time, right? I feel like I'm always a little bit ahead here, and I definitely don't have enough um, momentum there to get over. This, this room is going to be one that I think you guys may see quite a bit of. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I think the reliable way is going to be um, taking it a bit slower. Didn't even get me over that little spike hump, though. I think when I get those double crystals, I should just double dash up there and then try to fall as quickly as I can. I think this might actually be a little bit more reliable, is going for that third bounce. So let's let's try that a couple times. Oh man. I tried to double dash quickly, but I did not succeed, but this it this does at least seem a little bit more consistent. And honestly, that's something I uh, I definitely value. So, just being able to reliably, you know, have chances at doing the same thing, even if it maybe is a little bit more difficult this way, just knowing that I can pretty consistently have the chance um, is, is valuable to me. Why do I have such a difficult time getting over that little spike hump? It's proving to be so difficult for me. 
but you would you would not think that you know of all the the parts of this level that would not be the challenge Interesting. I wonder if I had timed that a little bit better, if I could have um, delayed. Part of part of the difficulty, you guys see me dying a few times there, is um, it's tough to judge just exactly how much horizontal momentum you're going to get from the puffer fish blowing up. And I need to um, kind of fine-tune a lot. Oh, man. So if I do that, I might not... Um, I mean, that's that's too slow. But yeah, I need to fine tune how much horizontal momentum I get. And also, I just realized that's probably significantly more reliable is just dashing to the platform. So we're gonna go with that from now on. Oh, that's a death. <laughs> Okay, okay. We are at least, in my opinion, making some progress. We're learning more about the level, new ways to approach it, more consistent ways to approach it. I want to get the timing so that I'm far enough to the right there that I can get that double crystal reliably. The, the trade-off is that that takes more time and obviously more time means it might be more difficult at that last part. Come on. The whole point was to do this more reliably. Oh, that's not gonna do it. That's not gonna do it. Maybe if I just commit, you know? Maybe if I just commit to, uh trying to go fast there. Um, that'll set me up to fall at the right timing so that I can re-grab things. See, that time I thought I was going to get a stronger stronger explosion, so I was like, well, might as well give that um, newer, or that more aggressive method a go. But it's kind of like each time you hit the, the puffer fish, you gotta, got to see what kind of explosion you get. I should just dash straight up there. I did not get a strong boost there. Yet I held all the way to the right anticipating one. I didn't get any boost there. <laughs> that was not the boost I wanted. Okay, so even then, that's too that's too fast. So I'm pretty sure strong boost or explosion or whatever is not the uh, the way to go. So I'm gonna play it like no matter what, I'm not getting a strong boost because that seems to be a dead end. And again, I have to get used to the the horizontal momentum in the air. And this episode has now been going on for a little bit, so. This will probably be the last room that we do in this episode. Um, the other thing to consider is obviously, do I want to end an episode here without completing the room? You know, if this is going to take me another 20 minutes, is that something I really want to do? Oh man, almost. Um, like I said, I think I should fast fall there. So I'm going to try more uh, consciously doing that this time. Hmm. Maybe if I dash upright and then dash right. I feel like that's not going to work, but I'm trying to think of ways I can actually, you know, get down there more quickly so I can grab the right side of that platform. Yeah, that's not going to work. 
So I think I've just got to really quickly dash up right twice. Darn. I got too strong of, a, of an explosion there. Tried to salvage it, but... Same there. Come on. Darn. Oh, wait! Yo! Let's go! I'm, I'm really... <laughs> I'm really proud of improvising there. Okay, so let's take a look at the camera for this upcoming one. So this is a long room. Oh, guys. Guys. How can I say that that last room is going to be the last room if... If, look at that. It's right there. It's right there. But how long have we been recording? It's probably been an hour. Right? I think so. But, ah, oh, You know what? We're going we're gonna to go strong. We're gonna we're gonna finish it off, or do I wait till the next episode? Ah, uh, guys, I don't know. Let, let's take a look at the room. Is this gonna be a room that takes me a good half hour? Because <laughs> if so, then it's probably looking like a next episode kind of kind of room. Um, there's the jellyfish. I'm gonna need to jump and dash upright, fall, get my double crystal, and then if I make contact with that platform, will it move to the right? Possibly. Either way, I'll need to throw the jellyfish before I hit that platform? Or no! Oh, you know what? So this platform is going to come to an end right here. What I absolutely am going to need to do... <laughs> I'm going to have to rest the jellyfish on top of this platform. Grab the platform so it starts moving, fall, double dash, right and up, re-grab the platform on the right side of it, it still has the jellyfish on top of it, fall, bounce to the right, and then jump up, re-grab the, uh, the jellyfish, or, or instead, yeah, what's gonna happen is, um, the jellyfish is gonna get combed off, or like shaved off the top of the block here, and so I'm gonna have to, what am I gonna have to, have to do? I'm gonna have to grab it, for sure. Um, and I think the idea is that I'm gonna have to do one of those let go and re-grab in the middle of the air. I don't know exactly how, though. This will move to the right, I'll jump ahead of it and get to the right side, fall, spring up, and then maybe I can really quickly try to dash so I'm on top of it. Maybe, and then um, can re-grab the jellyfish there, get the double dash again, or something like that. I think I think this may be a half-hour room, given um, the length and potential difficulty. I really want to try it, though. And the crystal heart, or the heart, rather, is, is right there, and then so is the ending. But I know I'm going to have some final thoughts on the game, too, that I want to talk about as well. So let's, let's call it here. Um... Yeah, let's call it here and say that in the next episode, we're going to finish Chapter 9, the final chapter of the game, and and talk about our final thoughts on the game, our final impressions, see the conclusion of this epic story, and and this really wonderful journey. I'm, I'm super excited, and I hope you guys are too. But until the next episode, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>